What do you know about that basement? Well, let me think. Not then. Come on, Jake, for Christ's sake. Strain that little boxer brain. You must know something. I've come to get O'Leary several times, but they always make me wait in the dining room. One day it was so late that the restaurant was closed. They made me call from a payphone in that alley over there to let them know I was here. A few minutes later, O'Leary came out the back door, that red one there. All right, you stay by the payphone. Wait till I'm inside. If you see anyone, call the same number you did that one time. Let it ring twice and hang up. Got it? Screw you! What the hell? We got to talk to me like that. I'm in the alleyway, and should I just go in through the door like that, or I don't know. Hmm, I haven't decided. I'm guessing it lights up when they ring at the main door. <laughs> Stupid rabbit. Does he need a shotgun to deal with suppliers? <laughs> Stupid rabbit. Some security guard, that is. Okay. Did he even notice if I got in? I bet he will because of the fact that the light will light up. Maybe it leads to the basement. <laughs> Stupid rabbit. <laughs> Stupid cat. Something tells me he'd notice me no matter how stuffy I was. Exactly. <laughs> Stupid rabbit. So the front entrance is definitely a no-go. No. The plan will only work if O'Leary doesn't know I've been here. So what would be a good way to get inside though? I don't I don't know. A bit too high to climb if the basement I'm looking for were in that building. Okay, so this is also a dud. I could probably check out here. No? Oh, what's in there? Yay, a card! My scrapbook. I bet my scrapbook is like filled at this point. You're in on Leon Tong territory. Okay. I love how they just spray painted it at too. Ooh, here. Could it be an elevator shaft? How does this thing open? Oh, what's in there? Hold on. If only I could reach that box. So you can't pull it? I think we need your friend to move that because it's too heavy for you. Okay, that's a dud. I got another card. Who would put a card between the vents though? What happened? Should we run for it? Do I look like I'm in a hurry? There's a trap door on the ground, right by the restaurant. Does that sound familiar? Think! Think! Uh, the, the restaurant or the trap door? Bro. Okay. Bro. Forget it. Are you done? What do you think? I need your brute force, Jake. Uh, what's wrong? Is the little kitten too, uh... And your silence.
All right, this is good. Come on. How far can we move this thing? I'm surprised with all the noises we're making, the security guard has yet to step out the office. But then again, that TV is still out too, so I doubt he can hear anything. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Oh, this is the easiest way to lockpick. Okay. I wish Skyrim and Fallout would do stuff like that. Thank you. Thank you very much. We only ask ourselves when it's far too late. Ooh, find a source of light before the lighter runs out. Okay. So, hold on. What's this? A card. That's cool. I have enough light to find a card. Ebi Okaye. Is there anything? I found another card, that's cool. I'm trying to find a way to get out of here, but... I don't know. It's not really looking well for me, I can tell. Okay, so I'll go upstairs, maybe? No? Am I not allowed to go upstairs? Come on, you gotta be kidding me. How am I supposed to figure this out? There's nothing. No clues. I'm gonna have to redo this. I have a good feeling I'm gonna have to redo this part. No? What about that door? Bro. Oh, wait! What's that? What's that? Finally. I got a flashlight. Use R to point your flashlight and enable new hotspots. Okay. This is so much- Ooh, what is that? X. Come on. Come on. This is- I don't like the controls sometimes. Are we in or not? I was expecting some frozen bodies. Hmm. Not no frozen ramen? <clears throat> Can you <clears throat> even move this? <clears throat> okay. It won't budge. Of course. Because you're not strong enough. So what are we doing? Oh, what's that? <clears throat> Bro. Hmm. Nice. So convenient that I found uh, that. Uh, now can we move? This place is dusty. There's one on each table, except this one. What is that? Boxing. Sounds like they are keeping hmm. tabs on who bets who. Is that it? Maybe? Ooh, what's that on the board? Hold on. Come on. 
The odds are incredibly in Stone's favor. I guess that he's the reigning champion, and Bobby Yale is just a contender, but maybe word got out about his condition. So this is a place where people bet. Oh, okay. I love deductions. But doing it in the dark, though, that's kind of like... Uh, let me see. Okay, these are a lot, so let me go through them. Mary's been at Yale's place recently. The DOE nurse will be assisting Dr. Talbot during his 12.30 surgery. Yale's soles don't match the footprints at the gym. Yale's medical report is signed by one Dr. Ferguson. A Venturis vanished after v winning a fight back when Yale was a kid. Yale had extracytal and dehydration caused by a panic attack. Uh, Dr. Palmer suggests that Yale rest after his heart attack. Who do the footprints at the gym belong to? Dunn's murder had it all carefully planned out. Okay. Um, I'm gonna randomly choose a couple of statements and see where it goes from there. Oh, okay. Nice. Huh. That lizard isn't Yale's doctor. Oh, shit. Bobby had a panic attack, not a heart attack. Bro, that's dangerous. Someone acting like they're a doctor. Who knows if that guy's sent out to kill him? Clocks. Okay. Does O'Leary have a network of pals? That would be wild if he does. Because he'll be a little bit OP for me to take him down. Okay, nothing here. Oh. Wow. I didn't realize you could place so many bets on a single baseball game. This is like a little betting casino type. I don't see anything else, though. It looks like a summary of all the bets that come in. Day, amount, bet, wagerer. Wait a minute. Did O'Leary himself bet five grand on Yale? Damn, O'Leary. That's intense. A little thingamajig that adds on its own. What'll they think of next? Hmm. Sometimes I forget that criminals, even the office variety, have family and kids. Anyway, maybe things aren't so bad on the dark side. Sixteen days until the fight. Sixteen days already? Is there anything else I can take here or see or look at? Oh, come on. Wild berries password. Huh. Oh, another card. Of course. I love collecting, you know me. Oh, there's another one here. Okay. <gasps> wow, this is a nice place. A nice little aquarium. How cute. Look at the fish. Why is that fish looking like a cat? Is that supposed to represent Black Sad? Could that be Ireland? Okay. I'd say that's Ireland too. I mean, O'Leary is Italian, right? A crossler? The good news is, I don't need lockpicks to open it. The bad news, I didn't bring explosives. Damn. 
That sucks. Can't even open that thing. Okay. Oh, wait! The desk! Come on. Just turn around. Right? Yes, right there. Even Dunn had a gun in his office. O'Leary couldn't possibly be the exception. Too bad I can't take it. Dunn had $200 in his safe. O'Leary had about 20000 in a drawer. I guess 20000 is pocket change compared to O'Leary's money. Ireland, of course. This guy's obsessed. But he's an O'Leary. It makes sense. I hope I never become the object of O'Leary's obsession. I mean, we did run off when he wanted to quote unquote help, so maybe it's too late for that. Okay. The painting concealed file after file of celebrity reports with all sorts of shady information, ranging from S to Z. Almost all of them were athletes. Is that what O'Leary meant when he said that detectives and police officers were his friends? I wonder how many spy for him. If I were to pitch in, who would I spy on? Uh, can I spy on all three? Well, let me see. Let me do Bobby first. In Bobby Gale's folder, all I found was a log of his incredible stats as an aspiring champion. 20 victories, 16 by knockout. Although, at the end of the report, someone had underlined one word several times. Which one? Untouchable. Hmm. All right, next, 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 L Stone. What's the case on him? According to Stone's report, he was so clean, not to mention hard to corrupt, that O'Leary opted for a more subtle strategy. Apparently, when he broke up with the tennis player Helen Moore, he set her up with stone. Lucky for him, they hit it off. As I put away the report, I stopped in my tracks. What happened? What do you mean? Is someone coming in? Interrupting? Did I really want to risk knowing what O'Leary had on my good friend, the incorruptible police commissioner? Yes, I want to read it. I sighed in relief. O'Leary had tried to buy Smirnoff on several occasions, but failed. Luckily, O'Leary had nothing on him, or me. That's because you two are good, clean cops, that's why. That's pretty rare. Okay, next one, Timothy. Thorpe had been a rising football star before the war which he came back from with honors and decorations. After the truce, he resumed his career. He won three season trophies and a couple of MVP awards. He retired after an accident that left him paralyzed from the waist down. Damn. He started his own sports advertising agency four years ago, but according to the files, O'Leary hadn't even tried to corrupt him. Well, you know what, Thorpe? Thank you for your service. I appreciate it. All right, there's nothing else to read, so. Should we turn off the light to make it less suspicious, or do you not care? I guess you don't care, right? That's pretty weird how he has... Bobby Yale's father's Limited book. Limited edition copy two of three. We listen, if you call it listening, to the sentimental romance. Your eyes act like the moon.
If they're not together anymore, why does O'Leary keep so many pictures of romantic moments with Helen Moore? Because he loves her and misses her. That's why. So is there anything else? Am I done here? Probably. Because I don't see anything else. Wait, hold on. Damn, I hate these controls. Wow, there's more? Okay. This guy is keeping tabs on everyone. He's like the Batman of this game, knowing everyone's backstory and dirty little secrets. Strange as it may seem, the reports reveal that O'Leary had hired Jake as a bodyguard precisely because he was absolutely clean. Apparently, he liked to surround himself with honest people when he mingled with the high society. Hmm. Okay. And what about Helen Moore? Helen Moore's file was by far one of the juiciest. She had been just a run-of-the-mill tennis player until O'Leary launched her career by rigging enough games to help her climb the ranking. However, O'Leary hadn't fixed any of her games in over a year. In spite of that, she remained undefeated. Be as it may, it was clear that O'Leary had enough information to ruin her career. Damn. Heavy blackmail. Oh, another one. Let's go. Another deduction. Tell me. About the reptile. Okay. Um... Let me see... Uh... I don't know... I don't know what to do. Hold on. Um, who's the guy passing for Yale's doctor? Yale is one of O'Leary's untouchables, according to his files. Um, Don's murder had it carefully planned out. O'Leary has enough information to ruin Moore's career. Mary's been at Yale's place recently. Who do the footprints at the gym belong to? Yell's souls don't match the footprints at the gym. Avarius vanished after winning a fight back when Yell was a kid. More seduced stone by O'Leary's demand. So how about this? That and maybe this? Oh! I'd say O'Leary has threatened Stone with ruining Moore's career. Huh, okay. Are we really leaving the lights on though? Because as soon as the guy comes, he's not... He's not gonna be happy. Maybe I can open up these as well? Oh, I can! Okay. Who else? Luckily or not, files N through R included no one that I could somehow connect to the case. Okay, so we have one dud so far. What about this one? Oh, there's more! Okay. I want to know about Bobby Yale's dad. I'm curious about that one. The report on Yale's father was the shortest of all, since only his name was left. Why? Damn, this guy really did disappear. Not even a report.
Chastity's report was possibly the longest among all of O'Leary's files. Apparently, their rivalry went way back. So much so that they spied on each other in the most unthinkable ways. At least I was able to confirm what Yale had told me. Cassidy had threatened Dunn after he refused to join the manager's union. Okay, so that leads me to looking at Dunn's file. Dunn's integrity was legendary, even in O'Leary's shady reports, just like Yale had said. Dunn had kicked one of O'Leary's men out of the gym when he found him snooping around. Okay, so... Nothing, right? There's nothing else for me to look at? Because I feel like I did everything. I learned a lot, but... That fish is so suspicious. Really suspicious. Alright, well, I'm done here, so... Shit! Someone's coming. Jake. Someone was coming. Are we, or are we not, exemplary workers, Jim? Fuck! Here it is, middle of the night. Come on! Shit! Oh fuck! I I got shot. All right, let me retry again. Jake, someone was coming. Are we, or are we not? Simply words, you know. Here it is, middle of the night. Uh, the other way, the other way. And we're working extra hours. Hey, Jimmy, what do you think about that? I think he's scared stiff, Desmond. <laughs> Why's that, Jimmy? We're giving you the red carpet treatment. We even let you in the boss's office. You're one lucky fellow. <laughs> you can't say I don't treat you well, Jimmy. <laughs> yeah. Speak, you moron. Yeah, yeah, uh, very well. Uh, why are you... Shh, calm down. How long have you worked for me, Jimmy? Three, 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 three months. Three months. Oh, yeah. I hired you right after your cousin Martin died. I need your opinion. How would you punish someone for ruining an innocent man's life with a hit and run, Jimmy? I, what? I don't know. And tell me. What Is that about what Jimmy did? You, Wilson? What would you do? No, <laughs> please. He was a good guy. <laughs> of course, you already knew that. You knew him better than me, right? <laughs> he was my cousin. I. That's why I hired you, Jimmy. You see, Martin was a dear friend. And his widow said you were a nice kid. That you'd do a good job. And you needed the money. And I, I have a soft spot for those in need. Please. But, uh, you know what? I talked to her just yesterday. She told us you did some naughty things to her with that gun, Jimmy. What? No. That's no way to treat a widow, is it? Are they going to kill him? 
She's lying. Why would I do that? What about the kid? <laughs> Are you so sure you know how long a kid can hold his breath? With his little head inside a toilet bowl? <laughs> Son of a bitch. I didn't want to. It was his idea. Selfishly, I was glad I hadn't risked my life to save Jimmy. Yeah. I'm saying put money in my business. Maybe not even someone like him deserves to die. But one could also argue that I didn't deserve to die for someone like him. Who's your boss? Give me a name! Cassidy, it was his idea. He said you'd hired me if I'd managed to scare the widow, and I just... All right, all right. Let's just... <laughs> calm down now. It's gonna be okay. Uh, he's gonna there kill him with his personal gun. The rule my life. Bye, the Jimmy. first principle... Is the love for my family. I do anything to protect them. The second principle I never put my future in the hands of fate. I always play it nice and safe. And I would even add a third principle, or better yet, a rule. What's the rule? If anything threatens either of these two crucial principles, I take matters into my own hands. You see where this is going? For the first time, I got someone killed. Even though all I really did was rat him out. No, 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 I just... Stop I, interrupting I, me, Jimmy! No. It's not polite! Sorry. You're all the same. So rude! You know what? Let's leave it at that. You're going to give a message to that disgusting walrus Cassidy, aren't you? Yeah, 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 sure. Whatever you say. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. Good boy. What? 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 what, what what's the message? Oh, Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. You still don't get it, do you? He's gonna kill you. you That's the message. Are the message. Huh? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Ooh. Come on. Wrap him up. Make sure Cassidy gets the message for breakfast, will you? I hope he chokes on it. Damn. Got it. Hmm, where are you hiding, little fishy? Once again, you didn't get to hear the end of my story. That's insane how he just killed him like that. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.